All right, a uh, quick overview between the differences in native PPI and uh, dithered rastering. Okay, so I was asked about this image. Uh, though the first thing that I did is I went onto the net and got a slightly better copy because the more pixels you bring into the picture, the more pixels you can actually uh, express. So say if we want to just do this, uh, native PPI with no uh, other things. Say we run this at three step size and then we set this to three also. Now these two are equal and when we run it'll just say start job as the uh, start. So it'll be running at step three which means every time it goes forward one pixel it'll go forward uh, three steps which in this case are mills and they're like steps of the stepper motor and every time it goes down, it'll go down by uh, three rather than just one. So we hit start and it jumps over here, starts rastering what we were doing. Now if we look at the controller, uh, pay special attention to these values here, the lowercase uh, letters. Here's a snapshot of it. Now the lowercase a actually means go forward one and the lowercase uh, c here means go forward uh, three. They just sort of add up like this. That is just up, down, up, down, up, down. And so it continues going whatever direction the, is uh, currently set, set on the stepper motor. And it just goes back and forth like this. Uh, the important thing is uh, because it's doing the PPI rastering, it gets these A's. So in a step three uh, with the steps where it's uh, stepping forward uh, three, your typical thing would be either it's on or it's off. So you'd have on, 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 off, 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 on, 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 off, off, off. And they'd always be in the, uh, the step three. And with this, because it's going there, uh, because it's doing the PPI, it's going, uh, it's going forward one, then it's going, uh, then it's going up and going forward uh, three more. So it's doing one on, three off is its current pattern for this particular shade of uh, uh, tan. So it's converting it to a grayscale and running it like that, which actually gives you some inter-pixel uh, resolution that you wouldn't otherwise have. But it's also, uh, for some really, uh, level tones of gray is going to be one on one off which is the least efficient uh, sort of thing and you can get some stuttering uh, with this and so and also because it's uh, traveling back and forth the only way that it can uh, move the air is moving the air forward so sometimes you'll get a much more sort of smeared pixel uh, your standard uh, Floyd Steinberg dithering algorithm is actually uh, uh, it's a lot better in moving the air because it can move the air up and down and left and right uh, I think well not so much uh, left and up but it moves the air uh, around in several different directions whereas this one can only push the air forward and sometimes I can move a pixel more than you sort of want. Okay, and now let's go ahead and kill this. Uh, we pause, it'll do whatever, but. Okay, so this is now no longer in the spooler. Okay, now for the other way to do it where we dither. Now, uh, since this is still set up as a uh, step three, and then in a job that's a step three, I can just go here and we do dither one bit and then it'll just run this way and now it's started a new job and this job is a one bit dithered image. Now it's actually altered the image so if you zoom in it's no longer tones it's uh, sort of simulated grayscale at the very low end here now, if we check into the controller and we click here, we can see now every time it's 
uh, going, it's three and one, three and one, three and one. It can only do three and one because every pixel is either off or on and can't be anything else. But uh, this can actually give you more resolution. It can uh, prevent it from stuttering if you have a particular shade of gray that you don't like. Uh, it's also a much more standardized algorithm. But uh, for like a photograph, I would highly recommend dithering over uh, just native PPI, but if it's like a highly tonal picture, like a comic book thing, you can just do the native uh, thing, or if it's a uh, text that doesn't have that much sort of uh, contrast within the pixels where it needs those details to pop, then it won't matter. So, uh, let me do a couple other uh, operations here. Let me drag another one here. Okay, so now uh, if we change the size here and say we want to go at this size, you can tell the step is at one. That's the default for pictures, but if we go to three, it's going to resize it. But since I already resized it, it actually jumps to the native size of uh, three which is actually the same size as this. Now, uh, when you dither this to one bit and then actualize the pixels, you'll notice that it went kind of terrible. Like, uh, that this actually lost a lot of resolution. And let me try to shrink it down to the same size as the other one. Uh, Okay, let's go here. Not correct. Uh, let's go. Reset user changes. Okay. Uh, so if we make this now the same size, and we say zoom in on our hair. Our hair here is really good, but our hair here is completely screwed up, and that's because of the order of operations I did this. In. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you dither after you resample. So basically you make it whatever size you want, although let me change it to step three first. So this is native size for step three. So say I wanted it larger. Now I do actualize pixels and it's actually just resampled this image uh, larger. So it's a little bit, uh, you can notice a little bit of sort of fog here where it, it just didn't have those pixels so it interpolated those pixels which, you know, is what you have to do when you resample. But, now when I uh, select my image and say dither one bit you can tell that it actually made those uh, proper pixels. So these pixels are actually for the size of the image. So you just need to make sure that any of your resizing is done uh, before your pixels. So let's uh, say this is two and let's go ahead and uh, remove this job. Okay. So now, uh, let me kill this. Okay. Delete. Okay. Uh, so now I have this job and then I go here and it says it wants to actualize. Now this will actually do the same thing that I did before where I dithered and then I actualized and it screwed up the picture. So what's wrong here is the step two, which I just changed it to. This picture is natively in a step three format, which is basically just to set the size of the picture because every time you change the uh, raster step or the scan gap, it'll make the picture larger. And so it has to make the picture, the size of the picture and the actual pixels it has uh, equal out mathematically. So when it messes up like this, uh, you just make the two equal. So here you see that this is uh, uh, dots per pixel is three. And then the raster job here is also three. So now when I go here, 
it'll actually not want to resize my picture, which is what Actualize would do. It would resize for the step rate and resample the picture. So now when you start, uh, you can see in the controller, it's still doing uh, step three. You can tell in these things it has the lowercase c here. So this one goes over i, which is whatever letter i is in the alphabet. And it goes over three, uh, turns the laser on, goes over three, turns the laser off, and then repeats that over and over again until it uh, turns back around. Uh, which, uh, if you want to actually be able to read this, uh, you can check out the wiki on the GitHub, and it will explain uh, LHY micro GL2. Okay, so now it's uh, jumping forward and whatever. But we've actually resampled this, so this will actually come out really well. Like, it, it's this is the standard that you'd run into for uh, Whisper and some of the other ones, and it has uh, the air is well leveled. And so long as you don't uh, mess up the size thing, then all you have to do is go back and uh, like pre process your image for making sure that it uh, pops various for your material and uh, like check the original tones and do it in whatever uh, graphics application you want. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.